What's up, YouTube? What's up, Tillerman7OH? This is a quick VR, um, just on my first pipe and first tobacco ever. Um, so, or what I started with, I guess. He wanted a VR to that, so I thought that was kind of a neat, uh, neat thing. And I've watched some uh, VRs of them already, so that's that's awesome. Um, so I got into pipe smoking because I got into pipe carving. So I actually started with carving pipes first. Um, I, I think I tried uh, pipe tobacco years ago with my cousin, had a cob. Um, him and his buddies got into it briefly, aromatics and stuff and just doing that kind of thing. Um, so I believe I tried it back then, but I it was his cob and I didn't, uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't really super into tobacco or anything like that. So I actually started carving pipes on a suggestion from my cousin and uh, then it kind of took off and I started researching pipes and then I started finding the YTPC videos and then I started listening to tobacco reviews and uh, finally I went to the local B&M tobacconist that we have in town here um, and I picked up uh, some tobacco. So this was my first pipe. It's made from applewood a pipe I carved 5 8 bowl and if you can kind of see right there um, there's a hole in the bottom there and it doesn't actually come from the side so I had no idea how to carve pipes I didn't know anything about it so I thought that the hole going down meets with the shank hole so I uh, drilled the shank hole to meet up with that super small hole. Let me tell you a story on getting that lined up. Um, and it does reach, but this shank hole I drilled super deep and it like almost came through. So it still smokes. Um, this was my early tenon and mouthpiece, which doesn't even have a slot. It was just literally drilled out. But that was uh, the first mouthpiece and pipe I made. Made out of apple wood. Uh, from a tree in my parents' backyard. I said that I mentioned this pipe in my uh, opening video, but I thought I'd show it again. So yeah, applewood pipe. And uh, the first tobacco I bought was, and I don't have much left here, uh, a bulk blend, and it's called Cherry's Jubilee. Um, and it smells, well, let me smell it. I can't even smoke it anymore. It smells like cough medicine cherry, like it's crazy strong cherry. So my cousin loves it though. So every time he comes over, we we do up a bowl of that and uh, a couple other ones. I'm trying to get him into more of the stronger, like uh, Latakia or something like that, but it's not for him. Um, so that's that. Cherry's Jubilee in a homemade apple wood pipe and it smokes okay. It's nothing fantastic, um, but that's, that was my first pipe and tobacco, and then I moved on from there, um, just trying different aromatics, and then slowly now I'm fully out of aromatics, and uh, and I, I don't really actually like too many aromatics anymore. I used to smoke like um, English butterscotch was another bulk blend, uh, uh, raspberries and cream. Um, those are the ones, the heavy Cavendish, um, they have kind of a sweet, soury kind of taste to them, um, and I loved them when I first started, but now I'm definitely getting away from those, getting more into the Virginias, and I just uh, tried a bowl. I, I just got some more tobaccos, as you'll see in another video, um, but H&H &H, uh, Bold Kentucky I got from Four Noggins, and man, is it good. Um, but before I ramble on too much here, this was just a quick VR. Um, that's that. Thanks for doing your uh, video and um, hope to see more people's uh, responses to that. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.